fans lined the funeral route in Liverpool today in order to pay their respects ahead of Sir Ken Dodd's public funeral ceremony. His wife Anne was pictured leaving their house in Naughty Ash this morning. Looking somber in an all-black ensemble dot she wrapped up against the drizzly weather in a smart black coat with a bright yellow flower pin to the front. And added a stylish hat to complete the look. Anne was seen walking close to another mourner who held an umbrella to shield her from the rain as the left for the funeral. Meanwhile, Miriam Margulies led the guests arriving to pay tribute to Sir Kenda. Lord Mayor of Liverpool. Councillor Malcolm Kennedy previously said, Although Wednesday will be a somber occasion, it is an opportunity for us all to pay tribute to an unforgettable man and I can think of nothing more fitting than huge crowds lining the streets for his final act. There will never be another comedian like Sir Ken, he told Sky News. His passing marks the end of an era in British entertainment and I'm sure he'll be tickled that the city will be putting on such a show in his honor. The service was broadcast on a large screen for mourners outside in a private burial ceremony. Will follow. Anne previously revealed that Sir Ken's favorite jam butties will be served in his honor. Sir Ken D at the age of 90 earlier this month. Just days after marrying his partner of over 40 years, Anne. His publicist confirmed the news. Saying, they got the registrar and were married in the house. He d two days later on Mother's Day. Anne is obviously very upset. Sir Ken's publicist also called their romance a love story to beat them all, revealing that Anne was by the beloved stand-up's bedside when he passed away. He added, with Ken gone, the lights have been turned out in the world of variety. Sir Ken Dodd's wife Anne Jones shared an emotional message as she broke her silence on his death earlier this month. Speaking to press outside their home in Naughty Ash just one day after he passed away. She reminisced about their relationship, saying, We first met when I was in the Ken Dodd Christmas show in 1961 at the Manchester Opera House. I've had the supreme joy and privilege of working and living with him as a partner for the past 40 years, she continued. The world has lost a most life-enhancing, brilliant, creative comedian with an operatically trained voice, who just wanted to make people happy. He lived to perfect his art and entertain his live and adoring onces, she said. Before thanking fans for the outpouring of love and support she had received. The pair first starting dating after his first partner Anita Bhutan passed away from a brain tumor in 1977. Anne, a former bluebell dancer, performed in his shows for years, playing Miss Sibby Jones as she showcased her talents on piano, guitar and flutes as well as singing.